It's the one and only that guy you're gonna learn to love, T Bone Capone. All right, Capones, it's me, T Bone, in the HQ, coming to you with one of what I hope are many episodes down the road. As a lot of you guys know, I went through an artist change, and now Tops Pato, Mark Patterson, my man, is hooking me up with some art, and then in return, I'm hooking him up with his own episode. It's fun stuff, it's a good trade off, and he does a lot of work for me. We are good friends, and I absolutely enjoy our partnership. But we're going to go into his top 10 custom cards right now. I think it's going to be pretty exciting stuff. You're going to like number one. I know I do. Number 10. Hey, look, how could I argue with this submission? It's JJ Aldridge. He's done a couple videos on the channel for us. So, absolutely, let's start out with that. I mean, she's an awesome fighter. If you guys have not had a chance to check out her fights, if you have UFC Fight Pass or whatever, do so. Awesome, awesome fighter. Number 9. As a fan of combat sports, how can I not like this? It's reminiscent to the throwback posters, the old school boxing posters that you used to see with Joe Lewis and all those big guys. Absolutely love this card, man. Number eight. I know there's one Capone that sells cars that is going to absolutely love this card. And it's symbolic, right? It's like the ultimate farewell signature card. And I just absolutely love it. Number seven. I think it's funny how the haters say Neymar screwed himself by going to PSG. Look, PSG has some talent, man. Di Maria, Danny Alves. I mean, look at this sig. Beautiful signature, beautiful card. Number six. I love this design, right? It's that black boost design from a few years back. What I like about this is the little subtleties. First of all, to Darren91, who's an absolute legend. Great, great guy. But I like how this card in particular goes from black to gray at the top. And then also where the boost is. It's red that kind of highlights the team colors there. I like it. What's not to like about this card, honestly? Number five. Geo is the MLS version of Aguero. And look, I'm not talking about as far as scoring and all that stuff, although Geo does score in the MLS quite well. I'm talking about he never takes a bad picture and he never has a bad card. Number four. I cannot wait to do the prediction video for Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather, but let's turn back the clock a little bit. UFC 205, that was awesome. The only thing missing really on this Topps Now autograph card is where the fuck are my belts? I don't know. I can't do a Conor McGregor impression, but the card is brilliant. Number three. Legend time, man, in the form of David Beckham. Now, look, a lot of you guys don't know this, but he is my all-time favorite Manchester United player, right? Rooney being number two. But DB, he's got it going on, man. Number two. Maybe it's because I collect RB Leipzig, or maybe it's because of that style of card. I really, really like that card. But man, it's just brilliant, right? Like, honestly, you cannot tell me if this was your favorite player that a poster would not look just absolutely phenomenal. It's amazing. It's a great card, and it's number two. Tebow's number one pick of the week is This card absolutely screams sexy time What I love about it is to Floyd Sr., my biggest fan Absolutely love it It's his trash talk personified on a card And not only that, it's the Topps Archives card, right? It has that old school feel to it And it just, maybe it's because it brings me back to my childhood a little bit On the design factor Absolutely love it And that's why it made number one there you have it, Capones. The art speaks for itself. Mark Patterson, Tops Pato, amazing stuff, man. Thank you so very much for your continued support of our channel, and I appreciate each and every one of you, and until next time, T-Bone out. <laughs>